please like and subscribe, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Gas Station. I'm your host Bjorn, also known as, also known as Bear, and I would just like to thank everybody out there, show your appreciation for just stopping by and watching. Um, other than that, I'll be sitting here for the next half hour commentating on what I'm doing. This is the last episode on the dual disc front conversion. Um, and I'm going to be rebuilding the rear brake. So, stay tuned. I'm not going to put covers on it. Because I'm going to have the plastic covers that go over. So, I'm not going to put the leather covers on it. You like the dirt bike. Right here. Making sure all this is clean. Make sure it don't leak no oil. Pretty confident it's not going down. Okay. Put it in the bike. These are the bolts that hold your triple, that hold your fork, forks together on the, on the triple clamps. Two bolts on each side, uh, blue Loctite. So I got my bottle of bourbon right here, I got that bullet bourbon, we're going to sit, have a drink, conversate on exactly what I'm doing here. So this is the second, third time I put this shock in <clears throat> and had to take it back off. Um, you just got to make sure that you have good tubes, straight tubes. Um, and the reason why I had to take it back off several times is because it was such a hard tight fit that I did have some 36 pipe wrench marks on there I had to file them down and uh, get it straight but uh, it's nice and smooth goes on good but you don't want to take any off of the metal because then obviously it's not going to be OEM it's not going to be the spec and it, it could slide so you only want to take off what you have to to get it on but I have the three inch risers up top those tubes and everything are going to be changed one day but as of right now they're working good so I'm happy with it you hear that ice jiggling yeah got that uh, bourbon in, in my eyes and we're gonna sip this I hope you guys are having a good day today I hope everybody out there is having um, is gonna be having an amazing Christmas this year no, other so than Caliper, caliper. Other than the Rona is what I was trying to say. And actually right so now you can pretty I'm sitting much at home and I do have the Rona. The pad and we're goes drinking. all the way to the fuck, top right? of the brake pad where it needs to be. And now I'll go buy a brand new set of brake pads. Now that I know I can use these uh, rotors. And we will install them and go to the next uh, step.
installing the black rotors on here and uh, putting the brake pad together and yeah doing all that so that's how I um, made sure that the brake is actually going to work on the, on the rotor itself uh, that the pads are the right size so we'll go to the next step so I just wanted to make sure that the, the rotor itself <clears throat> wasn't gonna cut into the brake in, in any metal or anything like that. These are brakes from a trike or bagger. And I just put only half of it on there, bolted it on, had that brake in there. And then I just wanted to, you know, see exactly where the pad was gonna rub and where it wasn't. And it looked like it was gonna just be fine. Um, same size rotor as the stock rotor that comes on my bike, 2014 or 2013 FXDC. So <clears throat> it's pretty much all OEM sizes, but I have the trike brakes going in. I go from that single brake to that dual disc brake. And remember, I'm using the V-Rod front end pretty much Frankenstein. Um, you have to go back and watch the prior videos to understand everything, but go back and watch the prior videos. I Frankenstein the front end together for dual disc for only like a couple hundred bucks. The more expensive stuff was just buying the, the brake pads and all that stuff, but you know, very simple, very simple. Um, first time I've done this <clears throat> type of conversion, so I was making sure all the all the specs were right. That's why I bolted half the brake on, and it looked it looked like the clearance. It looked like the pad was actually touching more of the rotor than it was before. Just maybe a sixteenth of an inch, which was perfect. So um, we're going on with uh, we're going on with everything here putting it together I'm putting the brake together for you guys hopefully it's not too fast uh, I know a lot of people like to complain or whatnot but I'll try not to get uh, over hasty in my talking over here because you know I'm drinking that bourbon get too flashy but I did a lot of looking and making sure shit fit right because you know it's not something that I do every day so for the people that are out there that don't do this very much you can do this. Anybody can do this. But my mechanical skills are pretty decent. And with a little bit of video help from YouTube, shit, you can save somebody's life. No. Maybe not that, but maybe. But anyways, what we got here is uh, brake pads. I'm putting them in. Um, like I said before, it's not something I do every day, so I'm looking at every single little piece that I'm putting in. I'm greasing up the backs of the pads. Uh, just doing the best that I can to make it a, just a, a really good, um, flawless setup that I have here. Making sure everything fits. So what I did with the brakes, I just painted them with spray paint, left them for a couple weeks, hit them with gloss a few times, four or five times, you know, and they, they still look good. It's been a few months now. I'm still riding them. Every, the bike's feeling good. And um, I love the brakes. You talk about stopping. These things can stop like in a, it's, it's night and day going from a single disc to a dual disc and instead of using the old stuff that comes with it when you get the new brake pads and stuff it comes with all the updated shit in there so I put I you know put the new clip in and whatnot you could use old clip but why use old clip when you got a new one right now you see me putting grease on this
Sorry about that. This, uh, my headphones do some wacky ass shit. But you see me putting grease on that, uh, hydraulic oil fitting, whatnot for the brake. And, um, just make sure the hole doesn't have grease in it. Because it can fuck some shit up. Get that grease inside of your oil. So that's what we have going here. I got that clipped on. The gold was kind of whatever. I don't know about the gold. I might just paint it black. So it is what it is. These is the drag specialty um, lines that I put in. They're extend um, plus size lines. So instead of stock size, I think I got plus six or plus eight. It was way too fucking long. Way too long. I have 10 inch... Uh, bars on the bike drag bars and They just it was just way too long. I like had a loop them inside of my fairing Just to make them work. So I think I'll go with the plus two inch and I'll, I'll remove those but I just kind of wanted to see if everything works I've been riding the bike now like I said for a few months and uh, we're going to take those uh, hoses off and put just like some plus twos on there. But as you see here, I'm greasing everything. Um, so then if you ever want to remove it, that's going to be easy to remove. And it's not going to be stuck on there. And That's just what I do. I like to grease everything up. Red Loctite, shit that comes apart. And blue Loctite, shit that you might want to get taken apart in the future again I just want to take one second to say thank you for everybody subscribing checking out my videos following what I'm doing remember if you guys have any questions about anything email me reach out to me however through social media or email and I, I'll answer the question I'll send you guys the the link for um the manual for the Dyna and do whatever I can do to help you guys. So I got those black, uh, what are they, Willwoods? They're okay. I like them kind of, but guess what? I thought that there's two different kinds that you can get and I thought I got the anodized ones, iodized ones or whatever, however you would want to say it. So I thought the metal itself, I didn't think it was coated. I thought the metal itself would be black. Like they put it in the tank, they submerge it, they do the chemical reaction and the piece is metal. Well, it's not. The damn thing's coated. And so the first, you know, couple hundred miles, you're dealing with the brakes kind of uh, spongy. So, that's one thing with the Wheelwoods I wish, they're not my favorite rotor, and to tell you the truth, I think the stock rotor, the OEM stock rotor is way better, but these ones look fucking sick. So, instead of buying one of those stock, another stock rotor for the opposite side, it was cheaper for me to just buy, you know, two up front and one in the back. So, that's what I did. They look... They look fabulous, but, you know, it is what it is. Like, they're not great, but they're good. They're, I should, you know, this is for month. This is, I, I think I pay, what, 60 or 70, it was probably 60 or 60 to 90 bucks a piece for the rotors. I don't know exactly what it was, but if I would have went OEM, I think it would have been a whole lot more. Plus they don't, the OEM ones don't really look good. You can see when you pull up on someone's bike looks really cool. And then all of a sudden you're looking at the rotors and stuff and they're half ass rusted and stuff. You're like, eh, the bike's kind of whatever. But when everything's jet black on that son of a bitch and you look at it, you're like, yo, that thing looks sick. But like I said before, it's a little spongy because you got the brakes take all that off. All the coating off.
again, if I don't say the torque, go check the manual. It's either in the description. If the link does not work, reach out. I'll send you the manual. Look at those big old bastards. The brake is actually way bigger in comparison of the one that I took off up front, the OEM that came on the stock, the stock one that came on the bike. It's like, it's way bigger. Not like way big, way, big. maybe even, it seems like it's about an inch bigger, but it's just way more girthier. There's more, it seems like there's more that can heat up. So they probably don't heat up as fast, but as far as the fluid inside the line, it probably heats up pretty fast. When you're hauling ass around corners. And the only people that know that are people that are on their gas and people that have lost their brakes because they're on it when they're fucking hauling ass. This is my rear brake housing. Uh, I was having rear brake issues. I took the whole thing apart. You can put seals here and new O-rings here. This looks like a, a seal. This looks O-ring, O-ring, O-ring. Um, you could replace those and uh, rebuild it yourself. The only thing that really wears is this ball right here. And uh, But I did see some metal shavings in there. So the rebuild kit is the whole assembly. So this is all trash now. And um, the inner assembly, so just this piece. So what we have here is 42382-87E. Inside of this, it's just tap it out. Actually, it was like this, and I tapped it out. Um, here we go with the other one. Put it together real quick. Put the little cap off of it so you can see everything's together, it's assembled. So, this part of the video right here is kind of a, an I addition. Wash it. Add on. Housing. And we're ready to go back in with it right now. This little cutout right here. We're going to get that cut out. That housing is plastic, so you don't want to put in the vise, you don't want to break it, you want to be as gentle as possible. And you can see when I try to put this on, it everything's kind of crooked a little bit. Not the correct snap pliers to be using, but get the job done. For all you race heads out there, I got some cool videos that are gonna be coming up here like in the next couple months. I'm gonna be starting a drag race thing here in the in the city, in my city at least. There's a lot of uh, patched uh, members from uh, multiple places. I don't wanna say it until we get there, 
but it's gonna be fun. Perfect. Okay. Or it's gonna be fucking it. crazy. Come over here, we got the <laughs> Stay tuned for that. Dust cover. Come right in there with that. And we have. What else do we got here? Oh, yeah. This one. Right chill. This is gonna go back in. So we gotta get it over it. Or... Yes, please. Take this new one out. So what happened with my back? Janky ass tool. <laughs> what happened with my so back brake? The updated one has Teflon sleeve in there. That's an extra sleeve. Perfect. What so, happened with my back brake is I had no back brake. Like the plunger wasn't even working. So I wasn't getting any compression. Even bleeding it fucking twenty times. So I just replaced everything except for the brake itself. Um. And I actually kind of want to replace the brake itself with another one off of like a trike or something a little bit bigger. But I'm going to push it down on my vise and snap this in there real quick. I can tell you one thing, this bullet bourbon's got me feeling good right now. whiskey my thunder header bracket actually gets in the way of my the long rod that goes attaches to this brake housing so the piece that I'm putting in now and pushing down the long rod goes in and that long rod was rubbing against my bracket when I first put my thunder header on so I ground down that thunder header knowing that that bracket is the sore spot of a thunder header but um I've had multiple problems with my bracket so it's all welded it's fixed welded to get it off the bracket doesn't even come off it's attached to the pipe I was having a field day with that thing, you know, but you got to improvise. For the people that are still watching this video right now, I really appreciate you being here. Enough said. Have a drink on me. Come on. hate to spoil a good movie but I even put this thing on fucking wrong at the very end 
forgot to put the damn washer well, in. Well, they wouldn't work. The damn snap pliers. But I got a screwdriver to work. It was just we didn't get fitting it in there. Okay. Put that on there. Spring dust cover. So after this point right here, you would want to put that washer on that I forgot. You put that plastic dust cover on and then you put the washer inside Whoops. there. And then you put the clip. This. Well, this is why I have the manual. Take it off. Put the dust cover on. But I'm a man and I don't read the manual. Just like so. Pop it out right here. Now. Not always. I read it quite a bit. but Just a quick second. I have to put this snap ring on it. This fat one. And. So before that snap ring goes the washer to keep that rubber piece on because it's a real wide washer so do not forget to put the washer in like I did and if anybody's interested in racing and you have pretty much a street stock bike no turbo bullshit no nitrous no nothing just head up registration uh, light on the bike, you know, just the normal shit, uh, turn signals, all that stuff. Well, you don't have Ouch. to have turn signals, but pretty yeah, soon we're going to be, hard to drum here. we're going to be doing some money races. I need better fucking snap pliers. Look at me, I'm getting so frustrated. These are actually really good ones, but they're just for bigger fucking applications. They're for the big snap rings that go inside like your primary case and shit like that. Now that I see myself wearing that sweatshirt, I just remembered I gave that sweatshirt to somebody because he was cold and had to ride his bike home. And now I'm like, yo, where's my fucking sweatshirt at? But he's an old school member. No names needed. But uh, I'll probably never see that one again. It is what it is. Okay. Nice. It's all the way on. Moves smoothly. Okay. That's right there. And that's it for this application here. I wish that was it. On the bike. Um, this side be like that and you'll have that lock on you'll have that lock on there pretty simple that's how you rebuild it go back together that's that so anyways today's my birthday happy birthday to me I don't this know where else I'd rather be than working on my island <laughs> it's weird true that this video is almost a year old it is December that said, of 2020, and this was 2019, but, uh, I believe. Wait. That's a full rebuild kit. Nah, that was the beginning on the Harley. February 2020. Rear so break. yeah, it's almost a year old. My birthday, February 10th, 2020. That's when this was recorded. 
sorry it's taken so long to put it out there. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you stopping by. Please like the video. Show it to your friends. This the gas station, and we're fucking out. Peace. Love you guys. See you on the next one, alright? Have a good one.